Hello there and welcome to another MCI Studios tutorial. I'm Pippin Henderson and today we are looking at Sonar X1 Producer Edition. This is part two and last time we looked at the basic layout of Sonar X1's door. Got used to some of the buttons and how they're used. We're going to go into more detail uh, in the next tutorial. This one is, is based around and focusing on the recording process. We're going to be looking at some basic effects to get us ready for the for the um, the mixing section. And uh, what you have in front of you is a piece written and recorded by me. And we're going to have a listen to this, and then we're going to break it down and uh, see how all that fits together. So uh, take a listen. Okay, so there we have a relatively nice um, leveled mix there. It's more or less ready to go straight into the mixing process now. Um, but let's take a look at how we did that. Um, I'm going to close this off now. What we're going to do is we're going to come down here to a different version. It's the same song, but it's been broken down. It has we come up here to the effects. Um, the effects we'll notice there's no effects in here at all and the drums are missing because I want to go through all that with you and kind of break this down so the first thing that we want to do is put the drums in we need to get them in and see how that's going to sound in the mix so let's collapse all these tracks here we're going to come up here open this up plus this is the synths and down to session drummer three click that we're going to leave simple instrument track ticked, click OK. Notice that the drums are um, faded, it means there's no uh, sound sample being uh, imported here, but we're going to do that now. I'm going to come over here to program, where it says new program, click up to acoustic, down to Stephen Slate, dry, double click. When that's loaded, you'll notice the drums come to life. There we are, we can exit this now. And I'm going to come down here to the where it says MIDI. Click in this box here. Stephen Slate. Metal Simple. And down here to Metal Verse 4. We're going to open that up. And we're going to be looking at the B phrasing here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the B, like that, and where we've got this uh, musical note here, we're going to click and drag it straight into the, uh, the track view there. We can get rid of this now. And it already comes pre-groove um, pre clipped. So we can take the edges here and just drag this straight out to the end of our mix. There we are. Close this window now. The next thing we want to do is we want to create a bus. And what a bus basically is, is <clears throat> a track all on its own <clears throat> where you assign other tracks to go straight through that uh, one bus track. And you can basically um, control um, certain things like level, pan, uh, etc. Um, what you're doing is you're using one track to control uh, many others. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here to this button here and open up the bus pane and we're going to right click in here and insert stereo bus. There we, are. we can double click in here and maybe uh, name it to main bus. Enter. And what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag down our tracks to multi-select. Open up one of them. Come up here to the ins and outs. 
from the outs drop down section come down to selected track outputs and into the audio outputs and select main bus click OK and that will assign all those tracks to this main bus and what we can do with this now is drop down this main bus come up here to mix and just bring down this level here I'm having to bring this down a little bit more than what you'd normally have to because of the program I'm using to record the screen I don't want it to be too uh, too loud for you when I play it back so um, but what you can do is you can level this now to a nice even level um, so everything's uh, and you can basically control all those tracks uh, with one um, with one track okay the next thing I want to discuss is the metronome. Metronomes are very important. Your metronome settings, basic settings are up here. You've got um, metronome during playback here and your metronome during record. And these are affected by the tempo that you set. At the moment, mine's on 70, but you can click in there and add in any tempo you want. And these will be affected by that, so bear that in mind. Um, and if you click P on your keyboard, it'll bring this up. You come down to, it says metronome, and it says record counters. That's how many bars um, will count you in before the recording starts. Okay, so another thing I want to discuss is this here. This is the, um, let's just close this for now. Okay, come over here to these buttons here. These red buttons here, these are it says record, but they are arming buttons. They are not record buttons. And you can arm as many tracks as you want. What that means is when they're armed, when we come up here to the record button and we click this button, what that means is as soon as the recording process starts, all these tracks here are live, which means any inputs going into them will be recorded here in the, uh, in the track section view here. Um, so make sure that you only click the tracks you want to record, otherwise um, you're going to have multi recordings that you don't want. Okay, so if we press F on our keyboard here, we're just going to bring up these tracks here and all, uh, even them out so we can see them better. Okay, so we've got our levels set in our uh, bus here, so all these levels are nice set. So if I play this back, yeah, I've got a nice level. First thing we're going to do is come down here to effects and what we're going to do is we're going to add come down here to VST plugins, add a guitar rig 4 to get some distortion on this guitar and we're going to come over here to 80s solo double click that and exit that, just solo this so we can see there we go, there's our sound unsolo this and we're going to come down here, now the bass is interesting because the bass was recorded on a guitar and then transposed down to a bass octave and then we used Guitar Rig 4's uh, bass um, settings to make it sound like it was run through a bass um, amp. So we're going to select this track here, process, transpose and we're going to bring it all the way down to minus 12. Make sure transpose audio is selected, and click OK. You see the process audio data working here. And when this is done, you'll have a guitar that is set within the bass octave. And then we're going to come over here to the effects panel, come down here to VST, come down to Tarik 4 again, and bass amps. And we're going to select scoop bass. We're going to bring Base all the way up. The treble is already down, that's good. And exit this. So we've got a nice, if we settle these two tracks here. Sounding good. Now we come to the vocals. I'm having to do this quickly because we're running out of time and uh, YouTube doesn't give you a whole lot of time to. Uh, talk through this kind of setup. So coming over to vocals, we're going to just solo these, press the S, select it here. Just have a listen to this, this is without any effects. Dark night, down the road I go again. It's, it's kind of dead, it's lacking in something, 
and a nice little technique that I use on pretty much all my vocals is you right click in the effects here again and when you come over here to Sonitus Effects or Sonitus Effects, how you want to spell it, come over here to the equalizer and we're going to be using this as kind of a mic pre, we're not going to do anything else here but up the gain to about five, about four or five. That's all we're going to do with that. We're going to exit that and we're going to come down here to the Boost 11. Wonderful plugin. It's going to act as our compressor and we're going to knock this to about minus 12. Maybe knock the boost down and we're going to see how this sounds. This is going to hopefully bring it up in the mix. Dark night, down the road I go again. Excellent. Okay, maybe we're going to add a bit of delay, maybe. Go over here and click delay. Adjust these settings, maybe the feedback. And the mix, maybe knock this back to 12, maybe 13. Let's see what that sounds like. Dark night. Good, we like that. Okay. So basically, what we've done here is very simple, but what we've done is we've leveled it with a main bus. Here, very important, try and use buses as much as possible. If you're using multiple effects on multiple channels, um, route them through buses. It means you won't be using up as much space. Whereas if, say, I had two guitars and they were both using the same guitar rig settings, I would route those two guitars to a, to a bus setting and just have the one guitar rig setting in that bus. Um, it saves on memory and your computer isn't going to lag, especially if you haven't got much RAM in your computer. It's a really good technique to use. Uh, bear in mind this, um, this vocal technique as well. I use it all the time. The equalizer really, I mean, I, I do mess with the equalization sometimes, but mainly I, I use a different equalizer for that. What I use this for is, especially if you haven't got a mic pre, use this just to up the gain, up the mix of the whole thing, and then use the Boost 11 just to squish it all together and make it sound really nice um, and sort of uh, tight and compact. Okay, I think that's pretty much covered all the basics. Of course, I haven't covered actually recording it actually into the computer. I couldn't show you that and show you all the techniques, uh, show you all these um, effects and uh, show you how to put the drums in as well. I only have 15 minutes unfortunately. Um, but I, I wanted to show you that that, uh, that main bus and I also wanted to show you the, the, tra the, the transpose section as well. Um, handy technique to have if you haven't got a bass on you. Play it in the guitar then transpose it down minus 12 to a bass octave. Okay so let's have a listen with the effects we've just added now. Okay, the drums are maybe a little loud, we can uh, knock these down. Listen again. sounding good. I think we're ready now to proceed on to the uh, mixing stage. Um, I'll see you then. Um, just give you a quick AB. This is without the effects. And with the effects. Quite a difference. I will uh, see you next time for part three where we'll be looking at the mixing process and adding some more effects and uh, getting some of the levels uh, really nice and tight. Uh, until then, uh, take care and have fun. Uh, I'll see you next time.